energy made this one. Trapped the whole winter, scanned for the summer. Came to America with dope in her stomach. Spent the 1100 on these Valentino runners. We just fucking fled a summer. Before I hit, I changed my number. Pac Man on a track, it's a slapper. I, I, I jump off a bridge before I put my dick in plastic. I was so fucked up that I had to sell plaza. If my bitch say bless you when you sneeze, you can have her. Don't, don't blame me if you broke, you just a woulda, coulda, shoulda. Try to rob me, you hit a book a book a book. I don't like good girls, I like hooker, hooker, hookers. And I don't sell crack, I'm giving niggas booger sugar. Caught a plug and he pulling up on a Kawasaki. Tell my brother if he catch a body, then I'm telling mommy, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. But I'm with a thousand Akis. Came up from selling pussy, free my nigga Joe Exotic. She says she can feel it in her stomach. Stop capping. Oh, lying ass bitch, my dick ain't that big. Cougar. Hold up, I'm that big. That I'm that big. I, don't, right I, I, I couldn't say that part. I, I could like listen. That. I couldn't even say that part. Listen. I like listen, that. Listen, listen. I could not say I that part. I him for keeping it real. Listen, yeah, listen, honest. listen. He looks listen, like listen. little. BFB, the Pac-Man, I couldn't say that part. That's, that's on you, man. But listen, that's that freak Joe Exotic. But right now, you're tuned into me, 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 Million dollars worth of game on Wallow267. Right here is Gilly. I, you can say, I'm going to say king. Gilly the king today. Right now, it's right. Gilly the king today. We got Don't Call Me White Girl and my man Tony the Tackler over there. And listen, the million dollars worth of game is brought to you. Brought to you by Bar Stew Sports. I don't know, do Tony like the tackler? Yeah, he liked the tackler name. Uh -huh, the I'm destroyer. fucking wearing my glasses next episode. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm you got to do. I'm wearing glasses like him next time. Yeah. Because yeah, Tony do be too cool. He too yes, he do. Cool. Joe too cool, cool Kalari. Yeah, He's you just be cool, cool for no reason to be cool when you <laughs> tackle people. But that's another story. <laughs> he like to get physical with guys. Hey, come on, let's get physical. Ooh, ooh I'm big. I want to tackle you. Ooh, all that crazy shit. I don't understand you guys, you know, you football guys. Y'all want to tackle men and get sweaty. I want to get sweaty and tackle a man. That's another story. <laughs> hey, listen, man. One today guys right let's get into our first sponsor first sponsor barstool and foreplay has teamed up with owens to create the perfect transfusion mix that delivers a crisp refreshing flavor combination of real grape juice and ginger ale this might have started as a golf course drink but we're making this the drink of the summer it's delicious refreshing for the perfect summer the Barstool Transfusion is our favorite cocktail mixer of the summer. Just add vodka. Simple as that. Perfect transfusion. Owens Transfusion Mix is made in the USA. Real juice created instantly delicious cocktails with perfect combinations all summer long. Long. So if you want an Owens mixer, available online at Owens site or at the Barstool store or in a store near you check out their uh wherever they're located at online so basically uh these owens mixers are the best thing smoking for making cocktails so if you do not understand how to make a cocktail it would help you make the best fucking cocktail around all you gotta do is ask tootie and the transfusion uh drink as well so shout out to owens uh go check them out barstool store um, let me take a drink of tea real quick. <laughs> so apparently, Joe Butthead, aka Joe Buttons, chose to go on his podcast and you know talk a little crazy about me. You know what I'm saying? He called me a, a, a doofus. I'm from the streets, man. I don't know what a doofus is. I'm sorry. You would have to explain that to me. Is that in the dictionary? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, he called me a doofus. That was some real suburban shit. But, um, and then he went on his rant about me for a long time. He was sweating, bro. He was sweating. Was he? You made him mad, Gil. That dude wasn't was even hot in there. He was sweating. I didn't see it. Where was it? Was it on something? He was sweating like a motherfucker. It wasn't deserved to be watched, but a I lot of people sent it, it to me, so I checked it out. And uh, obviously, I got a nigga in his feelings. Was that because I, I brought up the story about your people's getting slapped? When I said that online, you, you, you was in your feelings. See, one thing about me, bro, I speak the truth. I say what the fuck I want. 
See, I really know what this really about. You a smart guy. You know shit start from the ground up. Everything start from the roots. The roots hold up the tree. But the niggas on the ground level don't fuck with you. They fuck with me. That's what's really hurting your feelings. So what you do is you try to hate, but what you try to do is you try to decorate the hate. You put up balloons and, and you shoot off the shit that go in the air and you try to disguise it like it's not hate. But that's all it really is, is hate. Even the nigga that was sitting beside you recognized the hate. He said, damn, man, you making this personal. It ain't personal. No, it is personal. It's personal with you. It ain't personal with me. See, because I know you pussy. I know what type of nigga you is. I know you a nigga that'll speak out of term. And then a nigga will catch you. And this is what you did. Raekwon and his man walked in. I seen the tape. Now you keep talking shit, nigga. In the next episode, I'm putting it the fuck out. Let's put it out now. They walked in because you was talking crazy about them niggas. And then uh, a nigga punched you in your fucking face. You fell on the floor and screamed, My eye! My eye! My eye! My eye! My eye! Your man Mickey Fats. He sat in the corner. He had some shades on. That nigga never looked up. He said, nigga, you talk that shit, you gonna take this ass whipping by yourself. <laughs> he sat there just like this. I just wanna tell you this so you know that I'm not lying. You sat there screaming about your fucking eye. That nigga Raekwon is the fucking Ray. <laughs> that nigga told you, nigga, you got a lot more to worry about than your fucking eye. Then that nigga's homie picked you up and sat you on the couch while you were still screaming, my eye, my eye. A nigga slapped you, man, and you was on the couch like this. I want to show you a grown ass man. My eye, my eye, my eye, my eye. <laughs> now, I don't know where you from, but if I was ever in that situation, nigga, I would have died that fucking day. I would have said Allahu Akbar and I would have died that day. Here I come. I hope you allow me into heaven. Oh, oh, when what's the name Socks you? You ain't died that day. No, fuck all that. <laughs> Back in the day when uh, Bobby socked the shit yeah, out of you. All right, cool. And I See, ran. You ain't died that day. This is serious. Now, there you go. I'm just saying, you ain't died that day. There you go. Now you're fucking playing. Right. Stop I'm fucking playing. Go ahead, get you. All right. Say what you got to say. So, then, them niggas sat there and talked to you like you was a fucking child. And you know what you said? I'm sorry. Guess what I don't do? I never apologize. I can't remember the last time I apologized to a nigga. Because I can't remember the last time I said some shit that I ain't willing to stand on. Everything I say I'm willing to fucking stand on. But see a nigga like you, you just shoot shit out your lips. You just talk because you got a mouth, nigga. And then when a nigga catch you, you see what you do. I don't want no trouble. I'm not going to do nothing to you. But this is what type of nigga I'm dealing with. A nigga like you called a nigga like me a doofus. Who the fuck going to respect that? Think about it. Nobody, nigga. A nigga sat there and talked to you and just smashed your fucking head, 
your hat down on your fucking head and told you take it easy like you was a little ass boy and I'm a doofus me I'm the doofus let me tell you something man what you really mad about is that we them niggas that's what you mad about you mad that you was recording your motherfucking podcast for five years and these two bald-headed motherfuckers came through in eight months and took this shit over and guess what they fuck with us at the bottom and they don't fuck with you Get another thing you don't even own your ip you got five years in you don't even own your shit. You work for Spotify. Shout out to Courtney Ho. The motherfucker that owns your shit. Courtney! What's up, baby? Because Courtney was hollering at us too, trying to get us over there to Spotify. Shout out to Courtney. Business is business. We said, no, we're owners. Then we went over to Barstool. You talking about he got a coon up the Barstool. Hold up. We don't, we, don't, we don't work for nobody. We partner with people. We own our shit. Ad rev, all that. We own our shit. We own our shit. Boss, Barstool. We don't have partners. no boss. We, they're our partner. We don't have no boss. Barstool is our partners. Shout out to Dave and E Money. Take a picture, nigga. One of the few podcasts out here that own their IP. One of the few out of all these podcasts. One of the few. Oh, we partners. Shout out to Dave Portnoy and Erica Cardini. All right? So, uh, who own your shit? A white man. Who own our shit? A black man. You right, nigga. Black lives do matter, motherfucker. You exactly right. And black businesses too, nigga. So next time you go do a deal, nigga, we might manage your goofy ass. Your super goofy ass, nigga. And get you a real deal that you deserve. Fuck is wrong with you. You sitting here talking. You been in the podcast game for five fucking years. You sat on live with me and told me you offered Complex the four fucking podcasts for $40,000 a month. Nigga, what? You sat on you sat on live with me and told me you was at complex and was broke. Nigga, what? That's because you're hustling backwards, nigga. You're selling pussy in the gay bar. But then again, you a fiend. And guess what fiends do? Sell all they shit. You got any good shit on the market, nigga? I might buy some off you, nigga. Ooh. What you got? You want to get rid of that house shit, nigga? Oh, that's right. You already got rid of that. Oh. So next time you want to fuck with me, man, don't fuck with me, man. The news flash. To everybody out there starting podcasts, Gil will tell you, I went, and, I, I went and slept with the podcast, the business of podcasts. Not too many people out here can tell you about starting a podcast in the business of podcasts. I can. We can. We own our shit. So when you're trying to start a podcast, learn about IP. Black lives matter, nigga. Learn about and black businesses too. Learn about intellectual. Shout property. out to everybody on the front line. I love y'all. And 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 by the way, you talk about he told Dave Portnoy that he could say nigga. Where the fuck did you get that from? Me and Dave had a conversation, and I said, Dave, you could say the word nigga. Let me tell you something, man. You got me tangled and twisted like an Annie Ann's pretzel, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. 
What I said is I don't have a problem when white people is singing my motherfucking song. You can sing the lyrics because you know why? I don't expect you to be a human fucking muter. The fuck is wrong with you? I wrote my shit for the motherfucking fans to rap it. I'm not saying kill these niggers. I'm saying me and my niggas in the bins. Nigga, that's my fucking homies. So all that goofy shit you talking about, nigga? I know we hot right now and you not right now. Deal with it, man. He was hot, though. He was sweating like a motherfucker. He was, that nigga was on fire, man. Yo, he was sweating like a motherfucker. That nigga was on fire because when you talk about me, it, br it breaks the sweat out because you know you're talking about a real nigga, man. So you're you going to perspire. You see me, I'm cool as a motherfucking fan. I'm talking about a fucking clown, man. I'm talking about a nigga that's, he is the main act at the circus. You know what's crazy? I, I find this really amusing, though. You two nut ass niggas is going back and forth. Yeah. You going I'm not going back no, and no, forth. No, no, no. Joe Joe was I'm mad. Joe was mad because what you said about him the last time when you went on your snap joint. And you're mad because you and Joe, two no hit wonders, but his song was bigger than yours. Cause listen, when that song that Joe had come, oh shout out to Joe. God. When he came out with that song. Neighborhood rap. No, 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 he no, he had he had a nice joint. It was bigger than anything Gil ever song? done. What pump, song? pump, pump, pump. I was in the cell like this. I, I know. Pump, Oh, Absolutely. Oh, from here. Hey, he was in right in the cell. Nigga was, was right behind him. Pump, 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 No, I was talking about dancing. Pump, 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 Be like, just pump me up. The you fuck bitch out of here. Nigga, I, I knew you was like in the cell. Yes, you, you, you was in the cell with a nigga grinding on you playing pump me up. You know that thing. And let me tell you something. You and Joe. Let me tell you No hit wonders. But his joke was bigger than yours, though, Gil. He had a bigger career than you in the game. I believe that. I do believe that. He had a bigger career than you. I'm just saying. I'm going to be realistic about it. Fuck yeah. What? I'm dead serious. <laughs> All right. Joe, that song was bigger than whatever his fucking song he made. Now I'm lying. Am I lying? I don't know. Was it was his song ever the number two song in the country? It was big. That was that was a club starter. For for uh twelve weeks straight. Well, I heard it was a club starter. I'm asking you, was his song the but number two? Was his song ever the number two song in the country? Was his ever song ever the number two song in the country? I don't know. I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna find out. All right, well, you know, because that's what we. That's why. Well, I he debuted. was a bigger no hit wonder than you. That's bro. what I debuted. I debuted number number two of the country. But let me get. I don't, let me, I don't know what that song was though. But I don't me, really care about right. the old stats. I ain't no nigga who life is a uh -huh. throwback Thursday. See, that's where you got me fucked up. Your life a throwback Thursday, bitch. You're always talking about jail, cheat cheese, your old celly, pussy, your home. You're here now, nigga. Start telling me about April, nigga. You want to tell me about May, June, and July, motherfucker. I don't want to hear about that shit. I told you about April. That was one of you the You talk worst. about your celly more than you talk about no, your no, woman, no. nigga. I told you yeah, about- Yeah, I miss listen. my celly. I what you, you miss about the nigga, I man? I told you the first you time I You done spent 20 years in the jail with the nigga. What you miss about the nigga, man? We used to have conversations and stuff. I'm just saying, like, it's cool. <laughs> we used to kick it. Like, motherfucker, you got to talk to people that really understand life on a deeper level. Like, I used to. He's spicy. Story. But we used to have the, deep, what, yeah, what type of deep conversations are you saying? No, we used we to, get to talk this about one. life and shit. Like, they used to tell me about the free Y'all shouldn't be getting deep, period. No, you could talk deep conversations. No, nothing with deep with just nothing. Y'all fucking y'all 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 just got me on some other shit. But let's get into our second Spicy sponsor, man. ShipStation. One thing about ShipStation, I don't care what type of platform you're using, whatever you got going on, no matter where you're selling on Amazon, SD, your own website, ShipStation bring all them into one simple interface, making things really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. You could be on your cell phone handling your ShipStation and everything. Listen, man, this is what you need, man. Everybody got to understand this. No, listen, ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You'll ship more in less time with the best rates available. I'm talking about ShipStation. I'm talking about what I need you to do is, I'm talking about you get a free 60 days. I'm talking about a free, I'm talking about, listen, you can try. We know what you're talking about. Yeah, we got to no, <laughs> we I'm trying to explain something. Because a lot of people, you got to explain to them, to explain to them, to explain to them, so they can understand what you're explaining to them. But I got this. With ShipStation, <laughs> so, listen, ShipStation. Which, I mean, you can free a free 60 day trial. Listen, all you got to do is you got to go to the listen, shipstation.com slash, right? Dick, no, 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 fuck all that. Just go to shipstation.com and put game in as the code because I'm telling you to do that and get with ShipStation. I'm talking about anybody that's doing, I know you're making moves out there online, get with ShipStation. They're going to make this whole process simpler for you. ShipStation. And it's just like that. It's just like that. All right, man. Let's just talk about this real quick. No, we, I don't even want to talk about that. Let me just ask y'all a question, all of y'all. You know, I get high. I smoke the best of the best. 
You smoke Reggie. No, I smoke the best. I the seen best you bitch. smoke no, Reggie no, and you designer don't know bags. What Reggie is. I know what Reggie is. He used to be a Jamaican store around the corner from Nanny House back in the day, and I used to post up in front of that joint. Did you I know used to what smoke Re- weed? No, I know what day? Reggie looked like. They used to having the brown. Did envelopes. you ever smoke? No, I never smoked. But what so I'm saying is, I know, know what Reggie know. looked like. You be having Reggie and designer bags. Don't listen. All that shit he be talking. <laughs> he be having he a got designer. Fake designer you buy the designer bag. I seen it on fucking on Google. You could Google the designer bags, throw your little stuff in there, and act like you smoking some designer. But you be smoking Reggie. But go ahead. All right. So, let me just ask y'all this question. They're going to give you $10 million. But you have to be a fiend, a drug addict, a Joe Buttons. What the fuck, Gilly? For two years. What kind of fiend? You pick the drug, it can't be weed. Oh, that's easy. I take it powder. That's easy for me. I'm smoking hard. Give me because powder. Because I already fit the profile. What the fuck? Who no, would listen, pick listen, hard? Listen, Nobody this. would ever Nobody's going to know that I'm, I'm on coke. They already like, this nigga amped up already. So if you I'm smoking hard, like listen, this is what I'm going to do. Hey, peep the whole joint. What is the rules of this whole two years? How do I play that out? No, I'm, you got to be a fiend. You got to be a junkie you for the two years. Right, you got to be all the way Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. 10 million. No, 10 million. Two years. You got to get the 10 million. You got to do it, Tony. You can't say you're good. Fuck his joke. Let me explain to you. You got to do it on a million dollars. Let me explain my joke. Let me explain my joke. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to the public library. First thing I'm doing, once I know, I'm going to steal a mechanic book. I'm going to turn it into a mechanic, and I'm going to do cars, and I'm going to wash cars, and I'm going to fix cars. Turn it into a mechanic, and I'm just going to be amped. Listen, I'm going to be Basically, going to be you, but I'm already so you're just going to smoke so coke and fix cars? cars? You're basically Why just going to add mechanics. I mechanic can't do nothing else. Can I do anything else? No, you just got to be a fiend. You, you can know, sell you can go ass. home, you can wash, but you're a fiend. You and I'm going to change my drug and to I'm weed. Listen, and I'm going to sit around and holler at the young boys all day, and they're going to give me a little short. They're going to they gonna give me they gonna give me plays. I ain't got to pay full price. Put the, <laughs> young, and I got your car. Hey, young blood, let me out. Come here, man. Why hey, do you have this shit up. mapped out already? Listen, what's the name of your mom, ain't it? Man. Man, I'm, your dad, <laughs> that was my homie, man. We used to get money back in the day. He's he gonna give me so that. so he gonna give me plays. He gonna give me testers and shit. You right. You know how you know you how sweet it was if I was a crackhead? Right. Man, that's that's the life. Listen, it fits you. What you doing? Yeah. I'm weed. I'm gonna be addicted. No, to weed. you can't do weed. Fuck you talking it's about. It's drugs addicted. You gonna you gonna be snorkeling. You gonna be snorkeling. I pick. You can't. We know what she would say. Black and miles. No, no, she gonna be snorkeling. I pick weed. Can I pick black and miles? You can't pick weed. You can't pick weed. Why? Weed is not. Weed is not in it because weed is not that. It's legal. It's legal. Why the fuck would somebody give you ten million dollars to smoke weed? They want you to see you as a fiend. Okay. Um. I, just, I can't play. It's weird. It's just weird. Come on, you know you snorted yeah. yayo before. What you I doing? Said, that? Shit, I don't know, bro. Snort what no you gonna do, cuz? Me, I, fuck it. I'm gonna do perks every day. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, cuz listen, listen, I'm gonna be finked out already, right? And at least I can go home and fuck the leather off a of two. Oh Good my point. God. So what you gonna be hard as you gonna be taking? Dick gonna be harder than Russian Jeopardy. What you gonna be taking? I'm gonna be on thirties all day long. Why you just don't smoke coke? Because listen, at least I could still keep two. Your dick because don't one get thing, hard smoking well, coke. Listen, one thing's for sure. And two I'm things smoking hard, and I'm smoking hard in a in a in a blunt wraps. Yeah. You can't add another drug. No, what one thing's Tony for sure, two Pick. things hard off yeah. the perks. I'm going home, I'm gonna lease the shit out of two. Pick Tony. I'm gonna fuck the leather off a jacket. Y'all got me fucked up. Uh Nah, the glasses give me You heroin. gotta pick one. Come on, Tone, fuck heroin. you. Heroin. Uh, I can see Tone. Yeah, no, nah, Tone going to do. All right, go ahead. Tone on the do. Tone on the do. Tone down Kensington Beach for two years. The Lamborghini truck out there and everything. He getting it. He getting it. Tone down there all on do. Talking about. Sign up for Rona Proof. Sunday. No, I'm gonna. With he the down there. He, he, he down there. He, he down there all duped up. He down there all duped up. Tell me, every Sunday at three o'clock. <laughs> Stupid. That sucked. <laughs> that whole game was terrible. <laughs> Come on, like every Sunday. <laughs> I can tell you, you gonna be, you gonna be snort. You gonna be snorting all crazy. I would be slim and trim crazy. though. Let's talk about environmental reactions. Environmental reactions. I, I believe this is what environmental reactions is. You got cats out there in the street culture, right? These young cats, everybody demonizing, whatever. A lot of their moves is based off of their reactions of what they already seen prior. If you live in an environment, if me, we all live in an environment. We grow up, nice environment. Everybody go to college. Everybody go to school. You know, if people have an argument, they talk it out. That's what the, Our reaction is going to be based off of the environment and the things that we see and the things that we know we grow up into. In a ghetto, if I grew up and I see a motherfucker pop gilly, and I see his expression, my reaction now is to get me a gun. So that shit won't happen to me. 
Or when somebody do come, I could be the one popping. Mm. So a lot of things we don't understand. We're trained in a certain way in the mm. ghetto. And you 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 might see a young cat, you be like, damn, these motherfuckers. Why? A lot of this shit is based off of their reactions and the fear that they had based off of the things that they see. So it's a reaction based off the environment. Mm -hmm. Your environment educates you on how you're supposed to move and how you're supposed to think, how you're supposed to look. So a lot of things that we're doing is based off the environment that we live in. So when we see things, we be like, oh, man, mm -mm. You ain't see when Booby got shot the way he hollered? Oh, I'm keeping the peace on me. I ain't let nobody, I ain't gonna keep course slipping. You see how they shot what's his name and his casket was closed? They ain't gonna happen to me. I'm a, so now, you know, so mm -hmm. now it just it's just a cycle. It just keep going because you keep seeing a bunch of crazy shit, so you don't know no better. Right. And when you ain't got nobody there, no parents, no, you know what I mean? Your, your mom, especially if your mom raising you, your dad, where he at? He in the penitentiary or he dead. So that environmental reaction, you're getting educated. Your dad is your environment. So just think about that. Look at somebody that live in the suburb versus somebody that live in the ghetto. Their reactions is different when conflict come. There's no true conflict resolution in the ghetto. No, motherfucker gonna pop you. They gonna light you up. They gonna shoot you till you catch well, you on what, fire. Well, what Absolutely. frustrates me is that I just feel like the whole country is super violent and it's only like the black people that we look at and say violent. We grow up watching action movies where people kill people and the Terminator, he's chasing a bitch, trying to blow her fucking head off. And then when people do it in the inner city, it's like such a shocker. We're a violent country. This country was based and built off the blood of other people, of taking shit and killing people. But you gotta understand, a lot of times they over-report black crime. They you see what I'm all saying? the time. They over-report over black, black crime. crime. So you gotta understand, it ain't just about the movies. It's about the the, the 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 way we see each other and the way the world sees us. Sometimes we looking at the world sees us and we, we we value in their opinion and how they see us. I don't give a fuck about how no other race see me. I don't take exactly. that as, that, that don't validate who I am. Exactly. And shit, nobody else out there worry about that shit. But some people, they worry about, fuck, listen, man, you not, but some people, they don't know how to break that down and decipher the fact of uh, how they being talked about in the media. They take that to heart and they say, oh, that's who I am. You yeah. see it on social media when somebody putting certain shit up. You see what I'm saying? But let me the just say this. When you on the ground level, it don't matter if they over publicize it on, on, on media and all that, on, on, the, on, the, on the news and all that. Open because up. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, niggas on ground level, they ain't, they ain't got to worry about seeing it. They, they see this shit firsthand. Fuck with the news talking about, I just seen this nigga laid out on the block with my own eyes. They just talking about it. A man got shot. No, no, no. I sat there and seen that nigga laid down on the block with his fucking brains everywhere for three hours. Matter of fact, that shit all over the internet right now. So when you on the ground level, it don't even matter. To, the only people that that matter to, that they over... Uh, publicize it on the on the news and all that they, they, they put it out there the only people that matter to is the niggas that's not on ground zero because y'all don't got to talk about it at all we see the shit we in this shit we in the jungle i go to work a fucking day i drive a scepter fucking bus i'm a taxpaying citizen but last night when i was sleep it sounded like the 4th of July out there bitching in September. You ain't got to tell me I ain't fuck what the news talking about. That shit had me in the bed. Da, 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 da. Nigga, I couldn't even sleep the rest of the night. That's how regular motherfuckers is looking at it. You don't have to tell me about this shit when a motherfucker got shot. He'd been laying out on the block three, 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 a block down in the next hundred in his... Uh, Fucking 70 motherfuckers out there. His family out there crying. He still laid the fuck out there. They tell him, hold up, you can't touch him. Wait, keep the mother back. We investigating the crime scene. Nigga got his motherfucking, all the seeds knocked out his fucking watermelon. Man, they don't give a fuck about them over-publicizing it on. That's only for the motherfuckers that's not on the ground zero. Right, but it do have something to do with perception. Just like people get confused and say <laughs> shit like black on black crime. It's because you're pre-programmed to think that your people are doing something wrong all the time. Because when you look at television, you see white. You grow up watching Disney as one black princess. The Disneys are good. The Disneys are white. That's why when they do those tests with those toddlers, who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? A toddler always picked the black guy to be the bad guy. It's from perception. It's from television. When people say black on black crime is this and that, it's bullshit. And that's a fact. People kill who they live around. So the white on white crime is high Absolutely. in the white um area. And the black on black crime is high in the black area. The 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 
the myth that we just going out killing people is bullshit. People in the inner city are fucking violent. It is due to not having shit, not having any em employment opportunities, not having fathers in the home, and all the other host of shit that go down in the ghetto. That systematic oppression gets down that fucking deep. That trauma from slavery is that fucking heavy that we still have a problem keeping the dad in the house because your father used to get sold off. That shit don't go away from whatever. It don't matter if it's Teach. rich black people that you can see or not. It doesn't matter. That shit is embe embedded in us. So what I encourage people to do is to be patient with each other because we all we got black people die every day everybody's getting murdered even our children are getting fucking murdered i feel like we should be patient with each other so when you hear a black person say some shit that you don't like like this guy i'd rather you be patient with him because this is somebody that actually gives back in the street so i'd rather be patient with your people before you do something like that cancel bullshit that's right. bullshit that's cool. oh, wait, 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 hold let me explain something no 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 you 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 100% I support you. Let me just say something about cancel culture. We've been fucking canceled since we got off the fucking boat. Facts. Fuck you mean canceling somebody. Exactly. That, you, you got people on the internet that just sit back and just talk about doing this and that. Listen, who, what the fuck you mean cancel somebody? Black people been canceled their whole fucking life. When when did we when, when did they uncancel us? Really? Like people be killing, oh, we gonna cancel this person. Oh, we gonna cancel this, we gonna cancel. Y'all just talking to y'all a bunch of people behind computers, a bunch of high screens and just. How we going to cut each other now? Listen, How we going to lose each other now? That shit is just some bullshit. That's just rap on social media. That shit don't mean nothing. <clears throat> At the end of the day, we going to talk about some real shit. I ran into a little brother the other day. He was out there on the front line. Now, let me talk about the front line of this whole thing with George Floyd and everything. Shout out to all the brothers on the corners. That guy that might lose his life or go to the penitentiary. Y'all created change. And I'm going to tell you about what y'all do. A lot of times, we might do some crazy shit. We might kill it. We do a lot of crazy shit in the hood. But what y'all did, y'all moved the fucking world. And I'm going to talk about this. In this whole George, George Floyd situation, you had different people. You got the politicians that's up here that's trying to say they're going to do this, that, and the third for black people. You got them. Now, you got the, these big entertainers and people in position. You got them that going to get a lot of money off of this shit. Wherever they're getting it from, the leagues or whatever, corporations, you got them that's going to get a lot of money, right? Then you got the people that, that own, that, I mean, that operate nonprofits and all that shit. They're going to get some fucking money. Mm -hmm. Then you got the, the, the people that was out there protesting. I was out there and it was a lot of white people out there. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of white people, college student, middle-aged white people that were sympathetic to the struggles of the, of the black experience in America. The struggle. You had them. But then you had boo-boo and motherfucking black. Raheem and Sheed, Dooley and them. You dudes, what y'all did, I'm going I'm to say something because nobody talking about them. Everybody is getting these checks fucking cut. All you organizations, these nonprofits that had their infrastructure set up, they be able to get the money because you have the, 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 the people that feel like, oh, I got to be culturally, culturally inclined now. All these corporations and all that, they're cutting checks to these nonprofits. They're coming to, cutting checks to the big entertainers that we might know that's not connected to Boo Boo and Raheem. Boo Boo, Raheem and all that. Y'all did this. The reason they want to hear now and change laws because y'all niggas burnt this motherfucker down. Y'all, y'all, and the sad thing about y'all, I love y'all, and I'm going to tell you why. Only thing y'all ever going to get out of this whole process when all these people up top getting all this fucking money, getting all this money from these corporations, all this shit, get, only thing that y'all going to get is what y'all got. Them flat screens, some sneakers, them fades over, them phones, and all that shit y'all ran out of them stores with. That's the only thing y'all going to get because you know Talk why? The people up top that's going to get all this money that's going to put pressures on big corporate America, they don't even fuck with y'all. Mm -hmm. They don't even know y'all no more. Mm -hmm. Them niggas is so far, so far disconnected from the bottom. So I keep y'all in my prayers, man, because a lot of y'all, y'all going to go to the penitentiary or y'all going to die out there in them streets Talk. because the things, the change that's going to happen up top is never going to trickle down to y'all. Y'all ain't gonna never see none of that. Never. No, I'm even from some of the nonprofits in the community, they ain't they ain't fucking with y'all. Never. So y'all that put the work in that made these people say, oh shit, they burn this shit down. Mm -hmm. The niggas is turning up. Mm -hmm. The day the niggas took over. Dr. Dre talked about that when the riots took place in LA after the Rodney King thing. The day the niggas took over, it happened again and y'all did it. But the sad thing, y'all not even gonna be a part of all this fucking money, all these checks is getting cut. To all these organizations and people that say, you got people out there that are saying they connected to y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I represent this. I represent the people in the community. Them dudes that turned up, that made all this change come, y'all ain't even going to see parts of that. That's a fact. My heart goes out to y'all, man. God yeah. bless y'all. You're fucked. And let me just say this one more thing, man. Shout out to Maul because Maul told them, told Joe Buttons, yeah, Gilly, 
you know, he do a lot in his community. You know what I'm saying? So he on the front line. Mm -hmm. And the nigga said, well, yeah, he, he does a mm -hmm. lot in Philly. And um, newsflash, nigga. You supposed to build up the community you come from. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you doing in Jersey? Nothing. Right. See the difference between me and you? I give out shit to the kids. I go to homeless shelters. I go to the, the, the prisons. I go to the, the, the school, the little shit where the kids is locked up at. What you doing out here? Besides sitting behind a funky ass mic and running your funky ass mouth. Uh, a lot of people, I'm gonna just say something on some real shit. A lot of, oh. people, a lot of people got microphones, I'm gonna just say this. But a lot of people don't even, they, they don't even qualify to speak for the people at the bottom because they're never at the bottom. And let me say something to everybody out there oh. that got a mic just because they got a mic and a platform, that don't mean that they got the rights and they got and they got and they qualified to speak for the people at the bottom. You can't teach what you don't know, you can't lead where you don't go. Mm, talk mm. heavy. All that shit motherfuckers be talking. Cause I'm gonna tell you something right now. Motherfuckers ain't I didn't get no support when I was running around here telling motherfuckers it cost too much to be a criminal. And they thought you telling was crazy. Oh, this nigga crazy laying on the ground huh? trying to get the message Bad out. When they calling me. But ho, ho, kill your cousin crazy. But ho, ho, now it get popular and you got everybody. It's fashionable to act like I care about black people on internet. Uh -huh. It's fashionable yeah, to act yeah. like I'm a part of Talk a movement. Heavy, it's fashionable because this is the shit. Talk it's heavy, like a shit. It's, it's, no, no, it's like a new fucking trend. He's saying something. No, I'm just being straight up. And I'm not saying that this shit ain't been happening forever, but... When things get popularized, now it's the shit. Motherfuckers thought I was crazy. Yes, they did. On some real shit. They thought you wasted time. that But now up. it's fashionable. Now, no, you straight up. want to run and do, act like you're doing the right thing because it's fashionable. I Man. walked straight out of the penitentiary at the dub and told motherfuckers, yo, this shit ain't cool. Every fucking day. Every day. Fuck but now, you, now that it's popularized, everybody want to be, oh yeah, oh, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Right. Y'all fronting, y'all capping for the gram, man. Right. Mm -hmm. When I, ass when, I, when I was down there, where the fuck was everybody out? When I was down there, shout out to Pastor Pastor Waller, man. Enon Baptist Church. When you allowed, when you allowed us to use utilize your church, you allowed the district attorney of Philadelphia, you allowed the the uh, the, the court the courts of Philadelphia, you allowed the, the Pennsylvania uh 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 uh, uh parole, you allowed the Philadelphia probation to come in there and the Public Defenders Association. Shout out to Pastor Wilder. You allowed them to come in there and we had a program called Safe Surrender where 450 people that was on a run came in there and got reinstated and walked away. It was brothers that maxed out out of prison, but they was on a run, but they maxed out and they never got arrested or had any police contact and they walked away free that day. It was brothers that was on a run because they couldn't, they didn't have enough money to try to get a lawyer or they, or, or they had to run or they had a bad PO that was on their ass and you know what? They got reinstated that day. Four 150 motherfucking people. Action. I step, I stepped in. I ain't nobody, ain't nobody say, damn, Wallow, you need help. Oh, that nigga crazy, man. Wallow crazy. He getting people to come down there. Ain't nobody get locked the fuck up. And then after the fact, everybody, damn, Wallow, my man, I my, down there. my man said you was tripping. I'm still on the run. So when we gonna talk about shit, we gonna talk about real shit. Talk to him. Ain't nobody come. Come on, nigga. That's that's real change. Instant. That was instant change that day. Three days. When we talking about a nigga that wasn't even out of jail for two years. Mm, talk heavy. So when we talk about change and doing shit out here, I was doing shit out here when nobody was doing shit out here and it wasn't cool to do shit out here. So if you're doing shit out here now, don't talk about what you're doing. Just do. Just do it, man. All right. And everybody got a part to play out here. No matter where you feel, how you feel about it, uh, how you, you, if you feel about, man, fuck that, man. We got to worry about the black people that's killing people. Are you worried about black, black lives matter? Listen, everybody got a fucking part to play. Play your part so we can move together. Right. If you don't want, if you just want to argue, we keep arguing and arguing yeah, and arguing, arguing and arguing. Man, fuck all that, fuck man. That Either shit. we will come together or we ain't. Because I ain't arguing with you. And that's the reality of the shit, and it's just like that. Right. We all we got, black people. Motherfuckers. Love you guys a lot. And let me tell y'all, so let me give you a million dollars worth of game. Oh, before you give me a million dollars worth of game, let me handle this, man. All right. Let all me right. talk about my home security, Simply Safe, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you about Simply Safe. Simply Safe is so <laughs> great, right? If I was a fucking security guard and I was guarding your house, Officer JT, like listen, guard. I'm telling you right now, when nobody, I'm talking about the dog wouldn't be able to bark. Shut up. They sleep right now. <laughs> they upstairs sleep right now. <laughs> Simply say, shut up. Don't you fucking bark. You know my, I'm, I'm securing this perimeter. Mm -hmm. I'll be walking around the house all night. All night long walking around the house. 
If an ant move outside in the grass next to your house, oh, what you doing? An ant. Whoop, got my light. Got you. You're done. Simply safe. That's how strong Simply Safe security is. Right. Wow. I'm talking about this is top night security. That's why I use Simply Safe. And you got to understand one thing about Simply Safe that's really important 24 hours security. I'm talking about your whole house, everything is taken care of. I'm talking about you ain't got to. Simply Safe was named the best overall home security mm. in 2020 by US News and World Report. Mm. I'm talking about 24 7 professional monitoring. Emergency dispatch starts at mm. 50 cent a day. 50 cent a day. So it's just like you having me at your crib and I'm securing your crib and something happened. Oh, where you at? What you doing? Right. Oh, 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 what you doing? It was only 50 cent a day. Go 50 cent a day to have a crazy mother. It's your birthday. That, that's how strong. That's how strong Simply Safe is. Now, what you need to do, go to simplysafe.com slash game. You go there, you're going to get free shipping and a 60-day money back guarantee. Once again, simplysafe.com slash game. Do your thing if you want a guy like me guarding your house. Simply Safe. I definitely All right. don't want that. So, um, you want with me, Gordon? No. Let me Should tell you something, like, man. So, to all the youngins out there, right, I'm going to tell you all this because uh, somebody sat on my live with me named Joe Butthead, and he admired my life. Hey, but why he cut your joint off like that, bro? It don't matter. You see what he did, though? What it don't even know? matter. It don't bro, even matter. That was crazy as a motherfucker. I he, didn't he really see tried it. to play it. So, he, he played just a snippet. So, he did like the, the, the little media joint where you that only shit don't cut matter. it off, and then uh, you don't play the end part, so you don't know the full context of what we're saying. Where is this stuff? I didn't don't worry about it. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Well, listen, right? <laughs> hey, this is your marketing team. Let right. them work. Thanks for the marketing but, team. But, you know, he inspired me to give you youngins this game today because he sat on my live and, you know, he's pretty envious of my life. Man, I wish I had what you had, man. You got the wife, man. And, you know, and apparently a nigga's got money. He's black. He's well-known, but he can't keep a bitch. Okay, so... When a woman, sorry, he can't keep a woman. Sorry, guys. When a woman is the <laughs> easiest thing on planet Earth to get. No, me and Wallow pulled up. It was a bum out there. He was sitting out there. He had a sign in his hand. I'm starving. Please feed me. I'm hungry. And he had a woman out there sitting out there on the ground next to him. So that meant he could get a bitch when he couldn't even get shelter. So to all the youngins out here, understand, what? man, that there's enough women out here for everybody, man. And if you find out that somebody is blazing your chick, move on, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't choke out. Don't put the, don't activate the pistol on her. Don't take it on the chin like Will Smith, man. <laughs> Will Smith got $20 million, man. I mean, he make $20 million a sh a episode. I mean, a movie, man. One of the biggest stars in the world. If he could take that, a young nigga, especially you, an old nigga, a young nigga. Singing nigga, too. Singing nigga, probably sang to your bitch. Yes. Then gave the thing to your bitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what's crazy about the whole Will and Jada John? There's a flip side to that. Well, here we go. What if you found out? If me and you found out that Bow Wow was slaying Tootie and Soulja Boy was slaying April. Oh, what would you nigga, do? What? What would you do? First of all, I would be highly fucking disappointed in two. Like, damn. Like, first of all, I, you know, I fuck with Bow Wow. Nothing against Bow Wow, but I would be like, uh, bitch, you didn't get somebody taller than me. <laughs> like, out of like, did you already took kind of short nigga with me? Fuck, you just got a thing for motherfucking small fries with niggas. the fuck little, little teeny motherfuckers. Little Cause I'm five nine brown. one seventy. Bow Wow like five three. Bow Wow can suck. Two titties standing up. Bow Wow is not 5'3". No, 5'4". But I'm saying two, like 5'7". Then she put some pumps on Bow Wow, be able to suck a titty standing up. I he, can't he, unsee he it. Down he down here, she all way up here. I'll be mad as shit, because I'll be thinking, was, was he doing, when he jumped, jumped out the pussy, I'm like, hold on, was you dancing in my motherfucking house? April, here we go. The Superman. Big soldier. Y'all not about to disrespect Big Soldier. Oh, man, Big Draco. Big Draco. Big Draco. How would you take that Soldier Blades, your bitch? You would be disappointed though. Like, like if Soldier, if Soldier Blades, if Soldier Blades, and like, how, how, how did it go? <laughs> he said, how did like, it first go? of all, you know how, how Soldier acts, so he was all in there with the weed out. What, nigga? He doing videos with April all in, and, and all listen, like, April laying all, all in the titties. background. He, what, nigga? Other niggas, bitches, nigga. It's big we don't give a fuck, big Soldier, nigga. He, he in his, he in his Soldier bag. I'm talking about videos and everything. You staying? You, uh, you That's staying. my nigga, Big Draco. I give him a pass. 
I, I, get, I get you a Thanks feature. Thanks for man. being honest. I get you a feature. I give him a pass. I give him a pass feature. on some ass. He Something loves April. Will, a, lot of people think, April. a lot of people say I'm like Will too anyway. Like we and Will are like similar. Seven pounds. Y'all still didn't right. get the Will and Jada thing. They were not together. That is a real. That's what the, the oh, same wait. part. Hold ain't no the fuck up. Hold up. Tom. Wait. The fuck hold the, for, for, first of all. First of all. Like it's every, every black couple know we ain't together really means that's a fake beef we, we still beefing. fuck together this is what i'm gonna tell y'all we just fucking beefing if you watched that red table talk with that husband and wife you saw a real communicative loving that was, relationship oh, that was a real break the down loving yeah. break the shit situation down. let me break tell you why break it okay down. we got two black successful people married yeah. raised yeah. successful children and knew that they needed some space Success they knew ain't got nothing to do that with they no wanted fucking. to break up and they didn't know that they had to get back together until they broke up. And that was fun. She got fucked. So what? You know how many times Will Smith got fucked in them 20,000 years they've been together? A lot. Oh, what you saying? Jada got a little bit of August dick and he was sick. So you know he only went one round, nigga had a bad liver, a lungs or something like that. Either way, that is real love. And y'all need to take notes. Communicate with that girl and stop worrying about people think. Your girlfriend fucked somebody, you gonna let her go for what? I could say something. But he wouldn't leave April. I you could say him. something. I could say something. I could say something, but I, I ain't gonna say nothing. Don't Sleep on me. Say nothing. I'm, Sleep not, on me I'm if not you gonna want say to. nothing because Will I Smith. I look up to Will Smith. I go by Gil Smith when I'm angry, <laughs> and my brain don't think like 99 percent of the world. But like, how the fuck you gonna go by Will? I'm taller than you. If anybody say I'm fucking Will Smith, oh, you didn't fuck think that was good. You will what? shit. You didn't. The re when you watched them talk to each other, you didn't think that was like real loving. How they did that? First of all, actors. Okay, first of all, Shout let me just. First, first of all, right. First of all, let me. With you. First of all, not me. Okay, first of all, I okay, first of all, first of all, let me just. Say I love this. the Smiths. First of all, let me just say this. All right, I'm just gonna show you right how my motherfucking brain don't think like nobody else. Okay. How I go. catch shit that you would never fucking catch. Let's go. You know why? Because you sit here saying, oh my God, that was so <laughs> loving. Was. Oh my God, okay, that was a fucking publicity stunt, okay? Let me just break this down to you, young lady, all right? All right? Me and my wife has been together just as long as Jada and Will. There's no motherfucking way that Tootie gonna take a dick to that vagina and we not arguing in the motherfucking house. We, oh, you gonna take a dick to the vagina and the first time you gonna we gonna talk about it is when we get in front of the world. What the fuck I look like? I was born last night? No, motherfucker, I was born at night. But a goofy motherfucker like you, no, no you disrespect, didn't. wouldn't no, see no shit like that. that. No you disrespect. sitting there talking about, that is so, this is what we should look I'm up to. This is what, I that was a motherfucking love. publicity stunt. What are you talking about? They're great actors. It was very entertaining, and I absolutely fucking loved it. First of all, let me just say this. They start the shit off by saying, uh, first of all, we just want to say, we didn't say none of that. But you know, black Twitter, y'all Will Smith and Jada Pickett, why the fuck would y'all give a fuck about what black Twitter is saying? It's huh? black Twitter, yo. What, what the? I don't have one thousandth of the fucking money they got, and I could care less what the fuck black Twitter think about. If I wake up and my house is bigger than the Philadelphia fucking zoo, you think I give a fuck what <laughs> black Twitter is saying? No, we live in a motherfucking day and time where we gotta stay relevant because some motherfucking movies coming up and we about to get the fucking bag and we business motherfucking people. Everybody already know he blazed you. Fuck it. Let's get the bag out of this shit. But you sitting in the top it's the, that's well, what everybody is supposed to look up. You I best didn't believe even say that part. she was all types of raggedy motherfuckers at the house. <laughs> you raggedy motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck you, pussy. I didn't say that when you was with Christina, bitch. My shit didn't get out, bitch. <laughs> fuck wrong with you. Shout out to you, Jada. I'm a fuck all up when I see him. Jada, we loved it. We, we loved love it, Jada. That's my motherfucking idol. And I told too, you know what I mean? You got any entanglements? Let it be known right now. <laughs> so I can get this fucking five to ten over with. Cause you that's where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> I fuck fabulous. And he, and he, what? And he really did too. F a b o l o u s. Entanglement. <laughs> deep. I that's am looking forward shit. to a new entanglement.
That's Look deep. at you. You just dying for a nigga to blaze your ass. Tony, why don't I'm you so go ahead and fuck her, man? Don't do that. Don't Tony, do just shit. go ahead and Stop fuck her, man. Stop doing that at the house. There's <laughs> nothing going <laughs> on between hey, me and Tony. Up, Mike. Put, put Mike your mic up, son. Why do y'all keep Tony. doing that? Me Tony, Tony don't flirt enough. Tony, go ahead and fuck her, Tony. That's a shame you do me like that. God damn, You got somebody for me. Damn, oh, yeah, y'all, maybe, I listen, y'all, I don't know what they got going on. Hey, look, I, everybody in my DM like, yeah, bro, I know a good shit. I know you hit white girl. He blazed it. I know he blazed it. Yeah, I'm yeah. just a hoe. Y'all swear I'm a hoe. I'm just fuck the guest host. We just going to be, the guest host just going to be fucking. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You be, you be keep sizing Tony up, though. You always the, uh, touch him. Because she want Tony to tackle her. I touch her. That motherfucker named Tackler. She want Tony to tackle her. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get rich. That's who it got to be. I don't have another choice. Hey, listen. It was like, you see when y'all, they was talking about giving head, how she looked at the closer? And by oh, the way. She's trying to hard. close the closer. And by the way, Rona proof. I'm not your average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd say that. I felt like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is true. No. <laughs> they got little You're secret sure. messages and shit. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to come out with some t-shirts. I'm not your average Joe. Are you going to be on them holding in like that? I should be. I'm like, do it or, like that. Or you got a sweaty forehead. You know, you know I'm Merch King. We, matter of fact, you. matter of fact, I'm so much a Merch King. By the time this come, yo, hit the link at the bottom and get your, what's the name of that shirt? Not your average Joe. I'm not your average Joe. But you got, when you put it on, you got to say that, though. When you put that motherfucker on. Sweaty forehead. No, listen. Though. Everybody that buy this Not Your Average Joe put, shirt. Put it up on the screen. I'm right, going to make put, you happy. Yeah, fuck it. Wallow, you the Merch King. I got it. Right? Make sure my shit fly, too. I got right. you. Watch this. To everybody who buy this Not Your Average Joe shirt, please. Do a video and DM it the million dollars worth of game once you get it. And say, you got to use this voice too. I'm not your average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm posting that shit. Yeah, I mean, I'll get fucking 5,000 niggas to it to me. I'll post it 5,000 niggas. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, but listen, I don't give a fuck if who you are, you got to go rob a De Niro on them. So have somebody hold the camera up. You set your time up, whatever. As soon as the camera come on. I'm not your average Joe. That's a hell of a that's, that's a hell of a thing you got going. I believe that. That's a, I like He's that. An hey, hey, make sure y'all send me those videos ASAP. Hey man, let's get into uh stories from the cell. Stories from the cell is brought to you by Crying on a Visit. You know, when you be in prison, <laughs> right? Stay you, talk, you talk, you talk, you talk, you you got your you got your prison love, right? She coming to see you. And mm. you always talk that shit. If you if you a seasoned prison boy, listen, baby, I'm just here to support you, man. When it's time that you gotta go and you feel as though that this journey is becoming unbearable, let me know. I'm gonna support any moves that you make in life because I love you regardless, shit, no matter what's dude. going on. I love you and I'm with you and I wanna see you happy. Because when you happy, I'm happy, the world happy, and we all happy. That's what it's about. That's what but you if you told think them you bitches? gotta move and you think you gotta go, baby, ain't go ahead. Like it's cool. Pete wait, wait, that's what you told the bitches like? Yeah. So nothing Pete, like that. She come that's why up, none of the she come up, right? She come up, right? Cool, you cool with me fucking another nigga? Bye. Come up right, and by the time I hit, get down, you know, I'm fixing my jumper coming out the door. She's sitting there, got my tuna hoagie there, my sun chips. I had a little nice lineup, you know, I got my little thing right there. I'm like, damn, baby, you got my shit all together. I come out, squeeze the ass, give her a kiss, and all the shit, right? So I'm like, damn, baby, you know, how, how was work this down the third? She wasn't talking about the stuff she usually talked about. She's like, yeah, it was cool. She was a little offish, a little standoffish, but I didn't understand. I'm like, hey, you know, she putting the mayonnaise on my tuna because I like extra mayonnaise on my tuna sandwich. So she putting that on there, right? I'm like, damn, man. yeah, this shit, man, this player shit. Players, I'm the one of the first boys down on the dance floor, the visiting room. I'm like, damn, some player shit going on. I'm really, I'm really on my game, right? I'm really on my game. I was, I was you know, I was really feel lovely slim when I was in the joint. So I'm eating my joint. She said, she said, babe, you know, you remember that conversation? You a player in jail, though. Listen, she said, you remember that conversation we had? I said, which one, baby? Like, what you talking about? At work? What, what's going on? They fucking with you at work again? What's, <laughs> no, you remember you know, what you said in the letter? And you remember we was on the phone like when we first got together and you was telling me about you just wanted me to be happy no matter how I was happy. And if I was on the dick long, I was it happy. It wasn't your dick, but it's another dick and I'm happy. Oh. And I'm, yeah, I remember that thing. Yeah, baby, you know, I'm going to support you all the time. And I'm preparing myself. It's like, oh, shit. The point of no return. I'm like, who? I'm like, yeah, baby. Well, I just wanted to let you know, like, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I love you, and I'm like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Because you talk about it, but you ain't, you ain't, you don't know if you built like that or not. She's like, yeah, and I, somebody I've been talking to, I'm like, oh that bitch, I'm like, damn, that's why you ain't been answering the phone, Ricky lately. Blazer. I'm like, damn, you ain't been answering the phone lately, right? And I'm like, damn, because when you when you got a when you got a woman and you in jail, 
you got to battle all these people. Her girlfriend that like to go out and turn up. Her, 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 the supervisor at work, she done told you business. Her mom, her cousin, her aunt, everybody. Because mm-hmm. all of them got somebody, they, they do, got a boy, they got a homie that want to fuck you. And you like, no, I'm chilling. I got my in jail. You keep worrying about that nigga. They ain't can't do with you. We ready to go out. So you got all these people, and you got to convince you. Did you? Listen, man, people don't really want to see you when they jealous. Are you happy? Because <laughs> you said <laughs> she happy. She coming up to see you a week. You know what I'm saying? You, you're eating good and all, you, your whole life. So you're like, baby, you happy? They mad at you? They jealous? You know what I mean? You got to keep putting your thing now because you battling against six, seven people in our life. That's like that nigga. You, you going up there to see a loser in jail? <laughs> that nigga's a loser. He in jail. True. When you got R- 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 Ronnie Romance right here. I mean, the boy Radio Ronnie and them niggas out Ronnie here. Ronnie Finance. Ronnie Finance. That nigga finance your life. He a support. Oh, you Ricky trying, Blazer, you the trying donut glazer. What you trying to start a business? You need a storefront? I got you. So I'm like, this boy coming, right? Bull come in and knock off her feet. She's like, yeah, I just wanted to tell you this, then the third. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, you know what, baby? I support you. The whole time, I was crying inside. I was crying in a visit. The whole time. Oh, and, 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 this, and this is how you know, this how you know when a nigga fucked up, but he trying to act like he ain't fucked up. No, baby, I support you. Ain't, see, you know what? I just want you to win, because I'm trying to reel this shit back in. I'm like, damn, I'm trying to get my the, I, the pimp down. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> if I had a, listen, on a visit, <laughs> on everything I love, on a visit, when she telling me, I, the whole time she told me, I was like this, like my knee jerk, it was like, and, and, I, and I damn near dropped my whole, because uh, I, I had a Mac attack on a visit. It was a Mac attack, like my whole thing, it was like, damn, I lost my peace. So what's a Mac attack, a, a heart attack for a player? For a player, a Mac attack, I'm a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like, because I thought I could, because I was holding in the tears, and I was so emotional, it was crying me a river in my soul. I could feel it. It was just crying inside me of me. And I was like, damn. Did you put it in the pillow? Did you cry in yourself? No, I ain't crying cry myself. I went back and I had to stay firm uh, because I knew she wasn't coming back next week. And everybody mm-hmm. watching you, they know your schedule. In jail, a motherfucker know your schedule. And I knew because it came back to me when a nigga tell me, damn, low, they said you lost your bitch. <laughs> you remember the boy I saw? No. I, t- I seen the boy the other day. I saw Gil, yeah, that nigga was, he said, he was telling niggas when I lost my bitch. He in was jail. mad at him too. Niggas telling niggas I lost my bitch in jail when I did lose my bitch, but he was telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was. And I was like, damn, because now you you like, so now you got to tell him, but damn, what's up? No, you know, things going on, work. She, she lost some shifts on the job, so she can't come up all the time. All that dumb shit, you t- mm-hmm. you just like, damn, I lost my bitch, man. Yeah, that's crazy. You know I mean, oh, nigga, let me tell you something. Niggas, bitches, she regrets it now. Now, I but bet shout you. out to you. You know who you is, bitch. Shout out to you, man. All you love. He's dead when I needed you the most, man. And when uh, I told he you, you, you fucked front, like, up, no, bitch. No, you he's fucked a that bread up. Ass nigga. Fuck that no, paper no, no, up, hold bitch. Hold on, this nut ass nigga think he gonna squeeze to get this oh, all for me. He talk about shout out to you. You know you was there basically saying you fucked up, bitch. Now <laughs> saying you funky whore. Look at me that. now, bitch. This what he saying. This what I'm he wanna say. That. But this, this what he would say if we was in the car. But he gotta keep face value on camera. Lying. He, he <laughs> said, "Thank you. You was there for me, bitch. But you fucked up, you funky bitch. You ran off with a nigga who you're not even." with your fucking s'more i was what i was telling you was the What's truth a s'more? Bitch. a s'more is a whore and a smut put together this is a s'more you hear me i was gonna be there for your fucking s'more when i came home bitch and after i got done jumping off buildings and and coming from up under cars bitch, i was gonna this. come home to you bitch everybody but you're fucked up everybody said they bitch, gonna be you, great cho- in jail. you chose a flat over a filled up tire bitch that's on the move bitch you chose a flat <laughs> Everybody, everybody said oh. everybody said they're gonna be a champion Help when they come me. home from prison. So she ain't go for it. She like this uh, nigga. No, I know a couple bitches who ain't believe you. They they wanted to, they wanted to, they really wanted to, you know, love you and be there for you. But they was like, he's a loser. He did twenty years in jail. <laughs> the fuck, how the fuck am I gonna explain this to my mom? Like, hey, oh, you tell me when I came home. Yeah, hey, oh, me, they was sleeping. Meet Wallace. Hey, what do you do? I just came home from jail from doing twenty years. What? <laughs> Kill always you sit there. Yeah, she playing games with you because she used to lose you did right. 20. I'm like, right. Right. because because I see the motherfucker the early out, the motherfuckers look at they be looking at him, they be glazing all in his eyes, but they like this nigga has no future. <laughs> <laughs> they was doing that to me. Shout out to them, man. It's cool. Ain't no They was looking at this thing. nigga like this, like This motherfucker is funny. I as might shit. let you hit, but then I gotta skip. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I can't, I gotta split, nigga. Well, you fucked up because he's doing well. They was treating him like he was a whore. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> bitch, like yeah, I think I gotta go get with this little pop and drop. Yeah, oh you know why old nigga be jumping and off he's buildings happy and with shit. His lady, so you, whatever. You know why old nigga be jumping off buildings and shit? Yeah, I gotta go get this Much little pop and drop. Much love to you. You fucked that paper up, bitch. 
It hurt. Shout out to all them, man. I ain't that shit hurt. Look at it. Shit. Look at that it. shit look got the sting it. now. Ain't no way. Feelings, man. I understand, man. It was a journey I wasn't willing to take, but look, all respect see, and love. April don't mind shit like this because she like, yeah, shit on them bitches, baby. They fucked no, up. I'm not saying. I'm just being. I'm no, just let the fuck out of it. She know you shit too. She know you're full of shit. She know you shit. How you doing? Well, yeah. Look at it. Why you don't blowing kisses to them bitches? First of all, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. April get podcast love every week. Hey, what? Let me tell you something. You better mention that motherfucker. You get stabbed. Hey, let me tell you. You know something. we gotta do. We gotta bring Abel and Tootie up here. We gotta do Talk just to them more. Too. Uh, and let them. They gonna blaze the shit out of us. No, she's gonna blaze shit out you. I, I only blaze and get done is me blazing. Tootie, tootie. blaze the shit out of you in the house. Let, let, fake, let, let, you fake ass. Fuck out of here. I just seen Tootie right. blaze you a All thousand right, fucking time in the house. Nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. Who the fuck you talking to, too? I ain't your side nigga. Hey, before we get out of here, man, let's just shout out. I just want to say, man, my guy Tony's been beefing the line, man. Rona proof. <laughs> Tony been beef. Tony had some haters too. Who haters is your marketing team. Who you been beefing work. with, Tony? Man, I've been beefing with everybody, man. One of the things right now, real talk, man. I, I I see a lot of people in the community, man. We all, it's a lot of, it's a lot of that black on black sneak dissing, hating. You know, we all supposed to be uplifting each other right now. That's the John. It's supposed to be a revolution, right? Mm -hmm. But then we got like black people that's got these platforms, like the guy Jay Morrison. Dude stole money from it. You know? mm, damn. Like, damn. They're using their platform for the wrong for the wrong reasons, impacting people and hitting the community the wrong damn, way. And he stole that chicken? Yeah, like like 50 plus K. Damn. You got the fuck up. You got to take yeah. Care. So damn, so crazy. so right now it's like, you know, when I'm looking online and you see people that's I looking can't. at people that got influence, you know Talk to the mic. Well, you got people that got the influence, right? Like you supposed to honor that influence because people look up to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when you get in the position that you got the youth looking at you and saying, hey man, this dude overcame some shit. You supposed to live by a certain code. You know, that's why we, you know, we rock a different way. Mm -hmm. Some people don't understand that shit, but like, you know, the man came, he was supposed to be a part of one of my events, you know? He back out two weeks before the event was supposed to go off because he thought the event was going to fail. So I end up, you know, it's a hundred thousand dollar giveaway that we had involved in the event. God damn. We was giving away 50 K a piece, but he was thinking that the event was going to make money. So we was going to be able to take the money out the gross profit, push it into the, the giveaway. The tickets wasn't selling when he came on board for some reason. So him and his wife back out. As Soon as they back out, the event blow up. Thousand plus people come in the, uh, in, the, in the joint, but they kept all the money that had came in. 50 plus thousand and the giveaway money. So now I'm online watching him lying to black people acting as if his, his, his shit clean. Now I'm asking, I'm asking you some shit. This, is this, this personal shit, and I'm gonna say this, is there any paperwork on this shit? Is paperwork, any, heavy paperwork. Is it lawsuits? Anything? Heavy paperwork. Attorneys is getting paper, attorneys in, in action and everything. Everything in action. Damn. Yeah, like, 100% legit. They offered me $14,000 out of almost a hundred and something thousand dollar loss they cost me, bro. Like when you when you, when you you say you in a position to, to be like for the community, bro, you don't fuck over your own people. Mm -hmm. We make a habit of fucking over our own people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, if your heart is pure, you do it for the people, you gonna make money anyway. Mm -hmm. These niggas be out here chasing the bag instead of just doing it for the right reasons. Right. You you can't steal from your own people, man. They didn't want respect. Oh no, you could do it. You don't want him on respect, but you. But don't the community don't want to hold the, hold niggas accountable for shit like that, though. We we want we want to push that under the rug. Hey, black man. Hey, black man. Don't talk about another black man doing black man wrong. We're not going to address that. Oh, I know. I'm in the, we got I'm, a problem a in, the, in the society when it comes to let's face in our own bullshit. Because mm -hmm. if we want to get out, out out our own fucking way and progress, it starts from within. Right. But fuck him, damn, <laughs> pussy. That's damn. all, and that's all fuck I was you. saying. And that's all I was saying when I was saying if we gonna hold these white people accountable, let's just let us be accountable as well. It, that's not some real shit. Like when you when you a person that accept accountability, then the word accountability is that's that's never a problem <clears throat> because you always accountable. See, the only motherfuckers that got a problem with me saying, no, black people, we got to be held accountable too, is motherfuckers that don't want to be held accountable. 
all the motherfuckers that want to be held accountable like yeah i feel what he's saying all the motherfuckers on the ground level who's out here who see motherfuckers get shot they understand what i'm saying there's never no disrespect to nobody but black people we need to hold ourselves accountable and that's what's fucked up because they try to play it like you was against the movement. Absolutely. But it don't you even matter I mean? how they that, play it because like at the end shit, of the man. day, my fa- my fans understand where I stand at. But I wanted to say to Tony next on Real Estate Wars. <laughs> Tony <laughs> McCreasy. <laughs> Ronaproof.com. Every Sunday at 3 o'clock, man. Tony the Closer. Go check him out. Go check the Closer out. He's helping a lot of motherfuckers closer get money. Went in. I ain't going to lie, man. Uh, Appreciate y'all for joining in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. Make sure y'all go online right now, barstoolsports.com. <laughs> I'm not your average Joe. I'm not your average Joe. Get your t-shirt, send me the video, DM it to me and Osworth a game page. I'm posting it. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Um, don't call me white girl. It's your boy Tony the Closer. And it's just like that. Right!